Okay, Glenn, here you go. Let's see if this is going to work. There you can see that center tail light scrolling back and forth. That's what you get for a tail light. Uh, and it works pretty good and gets your attention. Now, I'm going to go around here to the side. There's the, there's the lights on the side. And I'm going to turn on my signal so you can see what they do. Okay, you see they flash right there. So, when they're following you, this is what they see. Okay, and when you hit the brakes, this is what they see. I'm putting on the brake here, putting a weight on the brake pedal. Okay, see that? Oop, it missed. Let me do it again. You only got to see one flash or two. Okay, I have to run. Here we go. There you go. See, and that's what it does. It flashes a bunch of times and then goes. Okay, and then on the front, if you go to the front, I've changed the fender light to the amber, and they they alternate up and you know up and down like that. That's a real attention getter. Works pretty good, and the great thing about it is not expensive. And you can see I'm a two bike family. That there is a Honda Pacific Coast. That's my barn find. When I got it about three months ago, it had 547 miles and two tenths. Was it had been parked for over 20 years. Now it has. What do we got in there? 1,079 miles. So haven't had a chance to do a lot of riding on it yet because I've been busy working. But anyway, that's the way the lights work on this thing. Uh, that one on the back is not very expensive. I think it's like, I don't know, 38 or $39. Uh, easy to hook up. Just find the, find the wires for your brake and your running light and tag them in. And I, I just hung them underneath, made a little bracket and hung it underneath. It works like a charm. Okay, that's it. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to post this, and I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, bye-bye.